In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you my Facebook ads manager and just break down the different metrics that I look at as a beginner SMMA agency owner in order to run, optimize and manage the ads that I'm running for one of my clients. I feel like part of becoming a good media buyer is sure you need to be able to come up with good or like clever copy and have like solid creatives. But at the same time, there's something that I don't see as many people talking about, which is the managing and optimizing of the ad. So you look at the data that Facebook is giving you and then based on the numbers that you're seeing, you need to be able to determine what's working, what's not working, and how can you improve on the things that are working to make it even better and the things that are not working, either tweak them to try to make them to work or just completely like take them down or, or turn them off. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is my Facebook ads manager. I'm gonna go ahead and select the maximum period. You can see that I brought 400 leads to my client at a cost per result of just under four bucks, 396, and we spent a total of $1,600 in ads. And if we take a look at the ad sets right here, I'm currently running two different ad sets. So one was with the previous offer that we were running and the other one's for the newer offer. And you can see that both of these are bringing similar cost per results. The newer one is bringing leads at a cheaper cost per result. And that's why um, part of what doing ads is, is optimizing and trying to make your ads better. Let me just go ahead and go into the individual ads so you can see a look at my thought process and how I break down the ads. So here there's different ads. Some of them are turned on, some of them are turned off. So as you can see, um, some of the ads uh, didn't get any leads or that had a cost per result that was kind of high are turned off. So this one, 977 uh, or 726 is above what I'm usually getting of $5 or in this case, like uh, $4, so I turned them off. And ads that are working, like the ones that you see right here, uh, five, four, four, five, are turned on. And this ad right here is killing it. It's getting a cost per result of $1.67, where you can see that the engagement is above average and the conversion is above average as well compared to other ads. Okay, so that was a quick walkthrough one of the ad accounts for one of my clients. And the main thing to notice is you guys saw there was like a lot of metrics, lots of numbers. Currently what I'm doing is I have, I'm only looking at a few. So of course I'm looking at the results. So like since I'm doing uh, lead generation forms on Facebook, what I would do is how many forms is each ad getting? So results, cost per result means how much money does Facebook spend on average in order for somebody to uh, put down their information and get a result. So that's the cost per result. Another one that I would look at is the click through rate and then the CPMs. So I'm not going to go into much detail and explain each, but what I am going to do right now is just provide a, like my thought process right now as to how I evaluate if an ad is good or if an ad is bad. So after three months, I realized that a good ballpark number for um, my ads in terms of the cost per result is $5. So $5 is a base, like that's like a average good number. If I start running any ads and I start getting a cost per result over $5, so let's say five, uh, sorry, six or seven, I would immediately either like turn off the ad or try to tweak some stuff in order to bring it back down to five or lower. In the other case, if my base is five, but I'm having an ad that is doing very well and like I'm getting a cost per result of $4, or in this case, you guys saw that there's just one ad that is getting a cost per result of $1.87. What I would do and what I might do is take that ad, duplicate it a few times, and then iterate. And what I mean by iterate is change the copy or change the headline, change the call to action, change the creative, and then see why is it that that ad is doing uh, well. It's not like a science per se, it's more like an art where you just like tweak stuff and then based on what you see working, you iterate and improve. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it more than like you have to try it yourself and then you'll understand what I mean. I'm still like trying to get better at running ads, but I thought that I would just hop on here and let you guys know how I determine if an ad 
is good or not uh, feel free to go follow my instagram we can connect and if you have any questions or there was something that i didn't cover or i didn't explain as well in this video i would love to just uh, go into more detail and let you know